Hello, I'm processing my material from Cyprus. And what I wanted to do was a meditation of gratitude for what I experienced. And I'm particularly grateful for the warm weather there, the swimming in the pool and in the ocean. It wasn't the ocean, it was the sea. And how grateful I am that I could have this wonderful experience. This is the view that we had from our hotel room. And Joseph was with me and also had a good time. And I'm just overwhelmed and overcome with gratitude. And this is a feeling that I want to embrace and maintain and keep. And share if you're interested in receiving it from me. This is me sitting on the balcony with Nicole while the other sisters are meeting before the meeting actually starts on, on Friday afternoon. So this must be just after my luggage arrived because I've managed to change. And I was in the pool already, which means I finally got my swimsuit. So like any life experience, you can perceive it as being negative or positive and you can take anything with an attitude of positivity or negativity and yes our luggage didn't arrive until the third day and I'm just so grateful that I could be there and we spent the second day the morning in the sauna because we had nothing else to put on nothing else to do nowhere else we could go so we went into the sauna and enjoyed that on the Thursday and then when Nicole arrived on the Friday then I met with her and really enjoyed this pineapple coconut drink and she took a beautiful photo of us and she was just so moved by Joseph's t-shirt piece starts with me that is a motto a logo that Joy and Nicole really appreciate so lots of things go through my mind as I reminisce and look at these pictures. This is Joseph on a rented bike. He took a trip around the island, not completely around the island, but he drove around while actually the first few days I, I hardly left the hotel, apart from going shopping, looking for some clothes while we were, before we got our luggage. And so finally, when we got our luggage, the swim in the pool was the best part, was really what I enjoyed. And then I helped with preparing the conference. This is the registration before the conference began and meeting and greeting the other participants there. So it was beautiful to be able to combine this work with play. And that's exactly what I enjoy doing. And I don't know if these are olives on the by the swimming pool, but I was just so inspired by the plants up there and these flowers, which reminded me of something which I found later on, which I'll show you then. And I really enjoyed my swim in the pool. It was a bit cool. Joseph said the sea was warmer, which I can confirm because the last four days I then spent at the beach. And meeting new people at and old friends at the conference in Cyprus, a new place for us to meet, and also bringing new friends, Joy and Nicole, from the Golden Goddess Circle to participate in a Women's Federation meeting. And then meeting with the VIPs, the international president, and the European vice president and the former founding president of the German Women's Federation and the European founding president and the Austrian founding president and a new member, Sola, from Afghanistan and Pevi from Finland, as well as Renate from the Women's Federation presidents now in Austria. And just being able to consolidate our relationships and working together and appreciating 
what we could do and what we could experience. And Mirka from Slovakia, Brigitte from France. And at the dinner reception on Friday evening, together introducing Joy and Nicole to Moriko Hori, the International President of Women's Federation. And that was a very special experience for me. It was Joy's 50th birthday, and I'm very grateful that she came to spend it with us. And I'm grateful that Joseph was there to share with us as well at this time. The dinner banquet started with a moment of silence, memorial for all the difficult situations worldwide. And then a number of speeches before the meal eventually started and here in the back you see our wonderful videographer who filmed the whole conference and I've yet to add his name to the YouTube videos to, for the credits for the amazing job that he did in recording the whole meeting. And I was just so grateful to be there to share and Joy was very happy to be the first to, to partake of the buffet evening meal and insisted that we take a photo of her at the meal as she helped herself and appreciated the food, which we all did. And afterwards we went into the cafe and celebrated her birthday with a special birthday cake and some gifts that Nicole had prepared and that I had brought also. And Mariko also came and brought a special gift from Africa. She had just come from Rwanda. And I was very touched that she could also present something. And that other sisters came to share and appreciate with us together. Late at night, next morning, I was at the pool to swim in the dawn before the sun rose. And then there was the morning meditation and this was the final resolution where I was then sitting on the other side. I was typically sitting on the on the left side from looking from the front, live streaming into Facebook. But then somebody else sat there at my place. So I came and sat here between the international president and the wife of the international president of the Family Federation for World Peace Europe and Middle East. And we are just voting on the resolution that had been drafted. And this is then the group photo that was taken at the end. And I had another swim the last day in the hotel. I didn't realise I wouldn't be able to stay in that hotel, which was fine because it was a bit far from the sea. So I ended up going, I met with Zoe in the afternoon because she was also spending a few more days but I forgot to take note of the fact that I would have no internet when I was traveling around and away from the hotel and I made my way to uh, an apartment hotel near the beach this is a, the sea there and this is the night the first night the Monday night that I went there and had a photo at the sea, took a photo of myself at the sea, really enjoying finally being at the sea, putting my feet in the water and experiencing it was about 26 degrees. Next morning, same thing. I was back there this time for a swim. And I watched the sun rise over the sea. And I really loved the walks along the promenade and there were lots of cats in Cyprus. This is at the hotel apartment. And there was some amazing plant growth around everywhere. And this is the view at the sea again with the palm trees that have obviously been planted there. There was one sign there that gave the dates when they had been planted. And this is before the sunrise, so that must be the next day, must be already Wednesday. And it wasn't clear to me whether these were still being used or not or whether the season is really over. 
because it looks like they've all been stacked up, but a few other days later on, it looked like they were still being used. And each morning I saw this fisherman fishing away. I walked all the way to this reef here, to the rocks where he was fishing. And the, there he is there. And then I went swimming here where the water was a little bit deeper in the other part where I first went to the beach. The water was very shallow for a long, long way out. And I wanted to actually swim, which I couldn't even swim because there's so much salt in the water that my whole body went up above the surface. So I ended up just treading water. I went to a cafe restaurant there nearby and had a breakfast. And it was obviously an English breakfast or a Cypriot English combination breakfast. This is the halloumi and the baked beans and toast and bacon, which reminiscent of the English colonization days in Cyprus. Very friendly people, very nice. And I was just across the road from the Radisson Beach Hotel. So, of course, I had to go and check it out and take a few photos there, really enjoyed being there and appreciating the warmth is what I really appreciated the most. Of course, there's this luxury feeling and this is the other plant I wanted to share with you, the frangipani, which I just love and it reminded me when I passed through Hawaii on my way to New York in 1982 on my way to The Blessing where I experienced the frangipani at the airport in Hawaii. So I just took a few photos there and of the pool and whether I stay there or not was insignificant for me, just being there, appreciating having that experience and my last morning before flying off. So I never took my phone into the water with me, but I spent at least half an hour every morning. And the last few times I was actually in the water as the sun rose and it was just so, this is the promenade that I walked along towards the end. I had 5,000 steps by the time I got back to the apartment. And there were other people doing exactly the same, walking along the beach. It was only the last day that I walked barefoot in the sand because there was a lot of stones along the beach, but there was sections there that were sandy. So I walked along the sandy beach barefoot on the last day before returning to pack everything up and wait for the taxi to take me to the airport. Oh, this must still be Thursday because this is now the day that I went for a tour after having edited and uploaded the videos of the conference. I went to the marina. This is obviously an Australian gum tree which I just had to photograph there. And there were a number of other gum trees in different places there. And then I I had a coconut mango ice cream. And then I got onto this, it's called a love bus, where we did a tour. And I managed to do that amount of sightseeing that this bus gave me where we went past the Lazarus Church and we went to the, okay, that's the Lazarus Church here at the end of the street before we turned, went past it to the left here. And yes, that's it again. And then we went to a number of other buildings and it was interesting to see the, the mosque, the Orthodox Church. And this is, uh, and to go into the different buildings and we went past the Salt Lake. And even though I thought, yes, I wanted to go to the border and I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that, I was just grateful for the experience that I had, the four days swimming in the sea, the time to edit my videos, the time to rest and and to, to exercise in the sea and to process the the videos, to do the tour in the bus, uh, getting on and off and just watching and hearing the different reports from, I did some video recording of some of this, so you can watch some of that uh, later on. This, I believe, is 
it looks to look to me like salt. It looked like it was probably harvesting from the salt lake. That's what I assumed. I mean, it, they look like rocks, but it, they're very white, and I assumed it was actually salt that was being carted along the road. And this is the Orthodox church that I went into, and I post, I've got photos from inside there. And these amazing old olive trees everywhere, really amazing. Of course, the buildings are old as well. So this is the inside of the Orthodox Church. So this is going three times longer than what I expected. But I'm just sharing from the heart and my idea was to make a, a meditation video that I can appreciate the the beach, but this is now the whole tour of Cyprus and this is the, the mosque here, the sign is here, yeah, the Hala Sultan Teke. And this was, I was told, was called the city of cats, that there were 500 cats, the bus driver told, assured me. Very beautifully coloured cats, many, many, many of them. And this is where I thought I might get into my first mosque, but because you can see my shoulders are not covered, I didn't even try to get in because the sign said you had to have your knees covered and your shoulders covered. And so I just walked around and then it was time to get back onto the bus anyhow. And we continued our tour. This would have been the entrance into the mosque. So I walked up to the entrance and then turned around and came back again. As I actually heard him reject a lady, it sounded like an American lady in shorts who wanted to go in and was not permitted because of her bare knees. past the salt lake again to the aqueduct and I filmed this before they turned the lights on where the lady was saying and it is lit up at night and then I got a couple of photos on the way out again and this was back to where the bus came from the marina just opposite the beach downtown in Lanaka so that was my trip through Cyprus, then I got my taxi to take me to the airport for swimming again on Friday morning before leaving and catching the moon in the in the sky and the sun before it lifts into the horizon, the pine trees, palm trees, and the exercise mile and lift off from Cyprus and loving the flying and then recognizing how grateful I am for the service and support. And that's what happened with the wheelchair that I finally got the help and support I needed and managed to do what I could do without focusing on my limitations and what I couldn't do. So that was the moral of the story. The, Recognising I can ask for help and get it. And then finally arriving home at midnight, landing in Vienna shortly before midnight on Friday night. That's it. Stop and stop. <laughs>